Yeah, that's right. The proposed high rise will completely take over this plot of land. And while people in the area say they're happy to see more housing opportunity, they say they're sad to see the park go. Okay. Every day, Lindsay Bannister and her dog Mars can be seen playing fetch in this open field in Dilworth. This is super close. We're in the area, so he and I can walk or drive down and just run around and get some wiggles out. She says it's a popular field for dog owners and walkers, oh especially after work and weekends. There's other places with the dog park and what and whatnot, but typically you have to pay or be a member um, or you have to be wary of other dogs, which it's great for him to be around, but every now and then he just needs to be able to run. Soon, she'll have to find another spot in town to bring Mars. The open field overlooking the uptown skyline will soon be the home of a 26-story tower and mid-rise residential developments. We were very excited about the, the location. New York City-based co-developer Ian Levine owns residential properties across the southeast. He says Charlotte was an ideal city to build in because of its growing workforce and lifestyle opportunities. We think it's, it's perfectly situated uh, for residential development and then also obviously Dilworth speaks for itself and, and you know we've worked hard to make sure that the, the program that we are designing um, will fit well within the, within the community. The two buildings, which will sit side by side, will house 626 units. Bannister says while she understands the area needs more housing, losing the area's only field will be hard to watch. But that's part of the appeal of Charlotte is you're supposed to get that home feel without, you know, the New York City sort of thing. Not that New York City's bad, it's just you miss having just this kind of places where you can go. And the developers say the buildings will be built by 2024. And we did reach out to the city about the project. They say they don't know anything about it and no plans have been submitted. For now, reporting live in Charlotte, Taylor Young, Fox 46.